Okay. Uh, Jack. Right, let's take him. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, hello, anyone here? Hello. I keep messing that up, don't I? Uh, a little bit. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Helene here, along with Drakir and Ram. And yes, uh, <clears throat> welcome back to Let's Stream Dishonored. And yes, I forgot the freaking lights again because I got distracted by something else. That's the fact that I'm trying out something extra now, which is a little uh, chat overlay that lets me see the stream chat during the stream itself. And I'm pretty sure I'm seeing, I'm identifying one bot in the chat members there. Another TV viewer. I'm pretty sure that's a bot. I've seen. I think I've seen that listed in the lists of four bots. But yeah, it also, it also messed. Yeah, there is one drawback to this, and that is that uh, the game needs to be run in windowed or borderless mode. And since Dishonored is well almost ten years old, it doesn't have the borderless option. So I had to swap it to windowed. And yeah, OBS was set to capture full screen, but that's been say yeah. 
that's Thanks. been solved easily enough. <laughs> so anyway, so you just had Burger King. Okay. Congrats. Yeah, I... I Thank you. Well, my family tried it once, like over 10 years ago. And, uh, well, it could have been just a, an absolute shit location, but, uh... Yeah, we skipped... We, we never <laughs> touched another Burger King after. Yeah, I don't eat a fast food joint myself anymore. Well, not been doing it for a while, actually. Um, Anyways, last time we finished off with the main campaign story, so today we'll be starting with the DLCs. It's in order are the, the Knife of Dunwell, which is immediately followed by the Bra Breakmore. The Breakmore. I mean, break more. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. Oh, I thought it immediately throw us into game, but no. Okay. <laughs> New game. Veteran. What a store. Elite. Okay, this is definitely new. Novice. Uh, let, let's go with veteran, since, well, we played for the main story, and, well, we're not going with easy mode. But, uh... I don't... I'm pretty sure I, I never played this before, so why did it give us that? Let's see. None Good like question. her. You can't forget what you've done. Killing the Empress and handing her daughter Emily to the Lord Regent haunts you. Oh! One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserve to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. No! Get away from her! Corvo! Mommy! A visit from the outsider. Yep. In, yeah, we're playing as Dowd, the guy we spared after while well, stealing his po his pouch to tell him basically tell him uh, we could have killed him at any time we wanted to. And yeah, it's telling us about Blink again. We've already covered that. We and yeah, it kept the controls. Let's see. Here's that painting that we messed with. <laughs> In this version, it does show the bottle of booze on the side here. When we, uh, when we, yeah, when we went through the main story, we uh, stole that, so it was worked out of the picture. <laughs> and yeah, the void is as trippy as ever. <laughs> it's Dunwall Tower, I'm guessing. What's with the red ass spikes on it? No idea. Else. I don't know that if I play this, I'll be freaking out. But I hate maps like these. <laughs> okay. I think I've seen a playthrough of this DLC, but I've not played through it myself. Dad, okay. my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. 
there will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. Rothwild Slaughterhouse. Okay. For six oh, months, yeah. the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. Threat. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse, and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Everything is connected. Oh dear. And yes, earlier I almost swore because I thought you almost fell down the into the void earlier. I was half expecting that as well. <laughs> as doubt, you can use your network of spies and corrupt merchants to purchase equipment and upgrades before each mission. You can also pay for special favors. These favors can have a variety of effects in the mission, such as granting access to equipment caches or revealing secret information. Okay. So we have a good reason to go collecting amp yeah. A lot of money again. Choke dust. Non-lethal grenades. Those were definitely missing in the main game. Let's see. A safe code, a stolen rune, and silent sabotage. A ripe worker will disconnect the security on the, ref uh, the refinement valves. Used yeah, using the valves will not sound the alarm. That sounds like a good one to get. Uh, we need. We want runes for the <laughs> for our abilities. And the safe code is likely to get us more out of that than it would cost us. Some sleep okay. darts and I guess the choke, the blackout yes. grenade, plus some health and... Yeah, I, typically we've found plenty of these normally. I think... Well, like a couple. I, I think in think ever this... Liar. I I think I read on the wiki somewhere that chaos does have an effect in this DLC, but it won't in the next. So once again, we're going to try for low chaos. Uh, yeah, choke dust. This powerful irritant can be thrown, creating a noxious cloud. Affected enemies will be temporarily blinded and disabled. Probably enough so to knock them out. And these are the same as before, only with an extra grenade option. And the combat sleep dart. Let's... Yeah, we're getting that early. <laughs> the rest, I'd say... Okay, just one of each. And the rest we're saving up for the next mission. And it's quite interesting to see from his uh, point of the story. Okay, and he doesn't have a heart, so he can see... Yeah, he can see bone charms and runes with the night vision option, dark vision. But in this case, it's void gaze. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid like workers can't even get in without a title card. When a strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. 
I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Okay. Yeah, Wait. we're heading into a whaling's uh, uh, butchery. Yep. Uh, give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You had no right to take it. Yeah, you were going to say. What was say? Uh, oh dear. Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, Mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping, all of you. I hope the plague gets you. Room. Uh, right, there was a, I'm surprised she could teleport and she not using the runes herself. Yeah, it could be that only those with the. Uh, I, it could be that only those with the mark of uh, the outsider, like Dowd and Corvo, have a use for them. Because, yeah. yeah, he said there were only eight. That makes, uh, yeah, Dowd, Corvo, and six others. And we, there are a lot more of those whalers than there are, uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot more than six of them. Yeah, so I guess they, with the, with the help of Dowd, we may have trained the other assassins to have yeah. used the same blinks as he. Nope, that was... Okay, I misjudged the depth on that. Uh, let's just get back up. <laughs> At least we got the fail out early. Just like last time. Okay. When, and when doubt blinks, it stops time. Act, or when he's preparing it, it stops dead. time. Okay. Uh, we'll make it three more months. Okay, let's have a look. Learn Rodwald's secrets, enter the slaughterhouse, find a time card. And welcome back, Rom. A captain of industry. Yep. And it's a ruthless businessman who owns a slaughterhouse and a fleet of whaling ships, including a ship called the Delilah. Infiltrate Rodwald's slaughterhouse and find out what's behind the name. Okay, because if some eldritch deity gives you a name, you are going to look at it. Or you're going to look into it. Let's see. Oh, what the... Oh, that was... Be my mouse... Okay, that is going to be an annoyance, because my at the moment my mouse is over that program that I was using to uh, keep an eye on chats. Not that there's much activity there anyways. Ow! You survived! Yeah. Mm. Don't get shocked. <laughs> it's too late. Uh, yeah, I'm it seems saying, that my mouse can in go over that program, and yeah, if I then click it, it uh, exits the game. It's going to be something I'll need to take, keep an eye on. For a moment, I thought Helion was to stop him into the stone. By the outsider. Yeah, Did we? Oh, you... ah. Ah. Throw him. Ah, come. <laughs> no, I meant throw him at the other guy. <laughs> oh, I think he's dead. <laughs> you killed him. Actually, it does unconscious. Uh, yeah, that's. Basically, don't throw people downstairs. It will kill them. <laughs> what the heck? It's like the first episode all over again. Uh, this is fitting. But, uh, the yeah. first episode of the DLC and we've already killed a man. Oh, you should see the first episode of the Dishonored altogether. He killed a few. One trying to sneak. Yeah. We're not poisoned. We need to the sewer. We need to rid the sewer of the rat infestation. Make sure you set this crate of potted meat aside so we can lace it with rat poison. After it is poisoned, take it down to the dock so we can get it in the sewers below. Captain Galloway. Okay. So there's an entrance to the sewers at the docks. So that is a side entrance that we could use probably. Also, let's switch that back to blink before I waste any more darts. Let's see, Slackjaw and Corvo. Because he is out at this point. Meet, death, bones, and song. So from a butcher's journal. 
He only looks worried when I come home at night. She's uh, looking for that spark, our love, the life we had just two years ago, all our ambitions. But the more she pulls at me, the more I resent her, the more I bury that, uh, all that. When her father was killed at the carrot station, I gave up my studies at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. So mismanaged were their finances with so many debts in her arrears that her mother and younger brothers uh, would have been ruined had I not. My work feeds us all and keeps uh, the rent paid to that shriveled old leech Wainwright. I hate this work, but in the uh, time of plague, it takes it takes all one's effort to stay afloat with the desperation, the blood and the rats. These are the bribes that must be paid to the Lord of Regent City Watch and Barrister Arnold Timsh's Timsh dead counters. Fend the wrong bureaucrat and your home is seized and you are off to the flooded district, so it falls to me. Every day I drive my screaming saw into the beasts, eyes wide open. I studied them for years at the academy in my trips into the field. Now working in the slaughterhouse, the wrongness is like a wound in my head. The first months I worked in a numb state, that my predominant mood was anger. Now the wound is scattering over, and on some days I feel a kind of power. My entire existence is meat. All there is in my mind is meat, death, bone, and, and song. The terrifying songs. They come to me in my sleep now. I look into the great eye as I uh, take away life slowly. There is a kind of deep connection with the beast knowing I'll be coming back again and again, removing pieces for hours, sometimes days. They sing for us, a funeral lament that causes me to uh, tremble. Leona and I still share a bed, but the more she tries to make me feel something, the more I recede. The person I was is dead now. 50 bucks says he somehow heard the outsider. Uh, could be, and right. I'm definitely hearing something of the outsider. There's a rune upstairs. Just void gaze. Uh, yeah, I think like he's not a chosen one, mocked by him, but may have been dealing with something he yeah, should have been dealing with. For yeah, it's kind of risky to deal with the anything artifact of his if you're not chosen. Yeah, or more like the marks. Yeah. It will drive people insane. And yeah, the, we know the runes drive people insane, but I'm guessing this oh, this means that it also drives... Uh, I'm over here, dumbass. Even the so the whales themselves drive people insane as well. Okay. Coin... I should probably keep this up as long as possible, whenever possible. Just to... Actually, does it... Let's see. Is it set to show people at the moment, seeing the darkness in the look... Okay. The third... No, you need to uh, level up. Okay, it needs to be leveled up. It costs two runes, and we only have one, so we know what we're getting first. Because that information is invaluable. Have just jumped that. Okay, there's a hidden entrance at the water side somewhere. There's the safe. There's the main entrance. We are not heading that way, even though we are closer to it now. And that's me clicking on the program again. If that's going to keep happening, I might just drop it because I can also just look at my phone for the stream manager program, though that is not as Hmm. It lacks some info on it. Let's see. We go there. And then we go here. I don't like that sound effect. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Uh, of course. Because the option to people struggling against being gripped tighter is to grip even, grip even tighter, which makes them struggle only more. Yeah, especially with the gods demanding A page torn from an old manuscript written in a scrolling hand. Yeah. Hard side eye of a whale, nearly dead, plopping on the pod, grisly and red. Weeper, weeper, weeps no more, laid to rest on a blood edge floor. This is for me, dearie, and I'll give you a birthday treat. Granny. Yeah, and we know which granny that will be. Tell be. stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. 
Pretty sure she's probably a few more centuries older. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, there's a fresh one here even in the hello. Okay. Not sure what they are up to. You've had your fun, Butcher. When does the oil start to flow again? It's all fixed, Chief. We got the time go. Now we got their mouthy leader. Two seconds. I give a shit mm -hmm. to win your sure. little labor dispute. Mm. The regent cares about the whale oil coming out on schedule. He'll get what he needs. Just keep the strikers in line. Someone's supposed to be on duty. Okay. Yeah, of course, that is the only reason he cares about all of this. Let's see. Nothing else this way. And okay, there is the shadow. I, I should keep an I should keep an eye out for the shadow to see if I am reaching something or not. This is a reminder that collective bargaining in any industry deemed vital to the state is a capital offense. These include metallurgy, whale collection and refinement security services, and selected legal and clerical specializations. Consult the city barrister for clarification and enforcement. Yeah, of course. Because we can't have the wage slaves start to unionize, huh? I heard the royal protector busted out of Coldridge. Think we could take them? No way. I heard something there. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's a bone charm under there. Let's see, and it did say something about the side. Oh, there's a lot of dead slash semi-alive whales here. They did say that they carve them up while still alive. Why? Well, I guess it's keep the, to keep them fresh from rotting uh, during the trauma, but still, that's horrible. Yeah. Okay, I thought there'd be something under I, I thought there'd be more space under. Corvo Atani, the assassin and one-time royal protector, has escaped from confinement and is at large within the city. Possible sewage. Of this state okay, must be during heavy rain. City watch at once. Yeah, of course, because they're going, just going to dump all of that into the water as well. <clears throat> oh, tabling. Come on, out. You need to work on your upper body strength as well if you keep falling in like that. Huh? Yeah, he's just this way. He almost saw you. Yeah, he just got a glimpse. Question is, what way is he looking now? Okay, so the wiring leads there, but we need to turn that thing off first. I'm back. Click I'm back. I'm back. Let me guess. Okay. Uh, problems. Yeah, there's a bone charm hidden behind the door here, but that, well, you can see where the cable goes. Yeah. At the very least, we can take out this guy over here. Damn Other guy spotted me, okay. Yum! You know, for a, for an assassin, you are really awful at stealth. Missing or damaged time cards will no longer be replaced due to abuse of this indulgence. Any worker without a time card will be denied admission to the ground and summarily terminated. Sir, as it fired. No of these guys are thinking the worst. And you're yeah. almost running to that. Yeah. Okay, we have some people imprisoned here. Missed me. Okay. I'm just using this as an opportunity to check where the heck 
Yep. Or how the heck I might get uh, to the controls of that thing. But, uh, blueprints, compact art yeah, amplifier. Cool. See? Oh, good go. You got shot. Then I fell through an open window. <laughs> or no, a hole in the roof. Uh, oh, at least I lost them. I can cover. Get around the fuck a way to turn that off. <laughs> I think this guy still has his sight on me. Yep, he does. Okay. Yep. He, tried to he needed. Yeah, we already seen that. What we'll do yeah. with a run with a drunken sailor? What we'll do with a drunken sailor? What we'll do with a drunken sailor? Okay, blah, 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 blah. Well, once these dumbasses are smart enough to put a lock on something. Yeah, boat checks on the Ren Haven. Letter ex a letter excerpted from a book on members of the City Watch assigned to the Renhaven River. Dearest Rutherford, uh, your latest writing brought me a mix of sadness and delight. We're so happy to hear about the passing of your friend uh, Cork Cork Corkun? Corkun. from uh, Morley. He was undoubtedly a good man and a worthy ally in your work with the City Watch in Dunwall. I know that the River Patrol is a difficult assignment, especially during these times, but it is important work. So given all that you've told me, I can only assume Cork Narcon was as brave as you are, my younger brother. It sentences me that such a vile organization as the Dead Eels even exists outside the realm of those uh, lurid Gothic novels we read as school children. But you and your men should have you know, to face them out on the waters of the Ren Haven was just is just terrifying. Boats must be checked, I know, I know. But if you should be harmed while ensuring some Tivian fur trader is carrying the correct tax papers, I will never forgive this, loon, this new Lord Regent and his flurry of laws. You talked of adventure when you signed on, and danger seems to excite you. But you'll forgive me if I hope to see your patrol transferred further west, nearer to Coldwind's Bridge, where the military presence is stronger and the smuggling gangs fear to ply their wicked trade. I've gathered this much from the newspapers, but perhaps there's, somewhere sa there's nowhere safe in Dunbar right now, certainly along the river. It pains me to imagine the customs crew at the checkpoints near your patrol being so short-handed. My mind reels at the thought of how anything else can take priority over my brother's life. I tell you what I wouldn't give if to be in charge of allocating the security details. You'd have a hundred men at your call, but I know that isn't practical. Please write again when you can. All of us look forward to your work nerds, and I often share them after dinner with our friends and those visiting us here in Driscoll. May your next letter bring news of the eradication or imprisonment of Lizzie Stride and her cursed dark dead eels. Stay safe and remember us always. Your sister, Pearl. Okay, now back to the Scooby-Doo chase. <laughs> and labor lock-up key. Not the key I was looking for. Maybe they have the key to unlock the, to unlock the, uh, the thingy. Maybe. Yeah, it, starting off like this is always a bit annoying since you're lacking powers that would give you a lot of information. They okay. don't know where I am at the moment. Hey, try to do a stump one of them. <laughs> We're trying not to kill as many as we can. There it is. <laughs> That was a very tempting opportunity there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, please don't look this way. What the oh, uh, you... For me. I looked at after you finished the job. <laughs> I just can't imagine that look like Dawes like choking this guy out and drops him and the guards in front of him and Dawes like, I can explain. No, there's a hack face. They'll start nibbling on my ass if given the opportunity. Yeah, just okay. They're still taking I shots what at me. Hackfish tastes like probably not good. Check mm. the, the moment one of these assholes uh, out, and that was the arc pylon. Yeah. Let's do the time warp again! <laughs> and 
Okay, let's put this back here. Stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Well, we now know it one big ass hurdle for us. She was a hundred years old. And that is that these guys are actually smart enough to lock up their freaking oil. That, yeah, let's be smarter in this also in how we get over there. Yeah. Do we have any of those hacking devices? You want an axe? You didn't buy any rewire tool. Yeah, sir, likely not. And yeah, this is a much better approach from here. Okay, and they're talking about having the striker's leader. So I'm guessing he is one of the two locked up there. Okay, not getting too close to that thing. Yeah, if, if we have a rewire tool, let me see. Can I see? Can I check my inventory somewhere? Uh, right here. And you don't have, we don't have I one. I told you, you don't. You didn't buy any because you didn't think you got to fucking need it. Night, yeah, because well, <laughs> with Corvo we didn't need a single one of them. Is it is there another one? There was another one over there, and he's walked further that way. You can see him there. But his friend is likely to walk back, so we need to see if we can find that key first before we start. Just start knocking people out and hiding them in corners. Mm -hmm. We've got here. I think someone there. One there. One there. <coughs> Nobody in there. And we have two in this region. And, oh, he's just not falling for that again. Literally. <laughs> the latest thing from Sokolov's twisted mind. We're the first ones to get them. How do they work? Well, obviously you. Actually, I'm not sure. Let's lay a few out. Striker's got to hit one sooner or later. And Mines. Yeah. Okay, there was uh, one in there. Don't forget the blueprint. Yeah. Yeah, the blueprint that can be very handy in the future. Sure, I see. Is it on the other side of this freaking wall? It's on the other side of the wall. Well, that's not useful to us. Okay. Yeah, I guess we might need to skip that bone charm for now. I'm not going to stick around like a full two hours just to try and get it. Almost. Yeah, I might get rid of that overlay program unless I can re make it so that it doesn't uh, become interactable or something. Okay, so it's going to kidnap you for a moment and dump you in the back, back alley. Everything's gotta be really good for you. Like he wakes up, he's like. Okay, I'm in the back alley, but I'm still wearing my pants. What happened? <laughs> Arcmine shipments. Mr. Roswald, I have great anticipation for the use of your space... Appreciation for the use of your space and your whales in the advance of my studies. All I've done will be in your debt for your contribution to my work. In light of your recent difficulties, I have prepared for you a gift of my latest defensive technology, the Arcmine. Designed on my, it is based on my arc pylon and will provide it superb protection against intruders and those who would interfere with our efforts. I'm certain the device will serve you well. Danton Sokolov. But, uh, nearly anywhere when triggered, a powerful electrical charge reducing the target to ash. So yeah, one we want to avoid using. Point. Okay. How many knockout shots do you have left? Seven, but we do want to be careful with them. And again, we're likely to be able to buy <coughs> something at the start. We're likely to buy any new ones at the start of a mission. So we just need to find enough coin to keep getting them. Let's see. 
moved. I was hoping he would walk back there. And we could have grabbed him. Yeah, if I go in here, it's going to be annoying to get back out. Oh, lovely. The connection ah. shitting itself in my end. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Okay. Carry on. Random bit of copper wire. Let's see his bullets. Oh. Bullets as expected. The way you placed him down. <laughs> oh, he's gonna wake up with a sore back. Uh, fuck him. Behold, people! Him and the assassin! Embarrassing... He totally oh, just... <laughs> embarrassing watch officers since uh, recently. <laughs> Let's see. That's an optional thing? Okay. Yes, that is optional. Hmm. We'll need to find an wha a whale eye then. You're two of them there. probably gonna Dude. find it in the slaughterhouse. Yeah. Um, wouldn't the granny stuff cause more chaos? Uh, I'm guessing it's likely to make a rune or something. Oop. Hey, I heard the royal protector busted out of coal. Oh, that's close. You take them. You better believe it. Oh yeah, that was very close. Oh. You just you seen ya? You seen ya? I need some help, damn it! And he has the key. Yep. Oh, that's two oh. butchers down. Well, at uh, least this is getting... This is going smoother, a lot more smoothly than last time. Yeah, with a lot less uh, Scooby-Doo and Benny Hill. Okay, <laughs> they power that. That guy should be easy enough to grab. You've already seen that multiple times. Om nom nom nom. Oh, and he also has a key by the looks of it. So we could have just grabbed him. He had a spare key just yeah. in case. So do not use the oh, so tides. Did you grab the key for the um for the uh, lock up, yeah, I, I grabbed that. So that is where we're heading next after we. Uh, uh -oh. After we deal with the infestation. You do realize that's a knockout. Yeah, that was a little grenade. The knockout grenades are on five here. That was an actual bomb. And this should also be a way in. Okay, yes, give is. me a okay. second. I gotta quit. I'll be right back. Right. Okay. And yeah. Now we head over to the improvised prison over here. Because I get the feeling there's very likely a secondary objective. Okay. There are some butchers walking around here. I've heard tell of a gang that dresses like whalers from the oil refiners. People say they practice black magic. Okay, I'm just... Okay. Oh, there back. is someone. <coughs> Sorry, the connection was... Welcome back. I hope this is better now. Is there some... Is that someone there or is that a pipe? That, that's a pipe. Okay. Half the city's dead. We won't make it three more months. I could have sworn there was someone patrolling here yeah, earlier. Pass me by. Hmm. You probably others. knocked them out. Here, maybe it'll be a. 
They won't let you in without a time card. But if you get us out of here, you can take mine. I'm not coming back. We still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. If you can shut it off, we can slip past the city watch when the time is right. How did it okay. pass me by? All so the these are not. Neither of these is the striker's leader. Okay. And no, but they do one out, so. Yeah, right. it'll be a, a lowering chaos option. Let's see. They should probably fix these freaking pipes. There's leaks all over the place. Yeah. That that one is the worst one. I swear, they yeah. like what looks like fucking predator blood. <laughs> what? You never watched the movie Predator? Yes, I have, and it's green. And glowing. I said it looks like it. Yeah, but it's also glowing. Look at it. Well, it, 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 that okay, that I can agree with. They both glow, so I'm not going to go against that part. So it looks like, like something else to me at some points. There are literally leaks everywhere. How can they get any of this stuff done if they're losing who knows how much? Through dumb luck? Also, you might want to knock that guy out. Or blink. Knock him out peacefully. I said, I heard that sound somewhere else. I can't really Oops, think of where that might be. I'm not sure if I've heard it oh, anywhere you else. Gently not smack his face into the wall! That's still better than the blade in his neck. <laughs> What's going on there? Good eyes I on mean, that I mean, they'll probably just wake up and think... The fuck? Why is my nose broken? Oh my god, somebody stole my pants! No, wait, I just didn't cut... No, wait, it's no huh? pants Thursday, never mind. That's something I would expect uh, Helia to do if he ever played Skyrim here. <laughs> okay, the, we'll check that a moment after dropping this guy off. And Okay, here's a safe. We... We've not found that code yet. And if it is on the other side of the wall, it's going to be a nuisance to come back Try here. the autograph player, maybe it's... Maybe yeah. it's like Doom 3. Okay, first off though, Slaughterhouse Row. Excerpt from a book on Donwell City District. For more than two decades, a small number of slaughterhouses sat along the Renhaven, out away from the finer quarters of Donwell due to the blood, rats and stents associated with processing meat. Independent whaling ships brought in the occasional leviathan and barges delivered herb herds of blood oxen. An eventual slaughterhouse might fall due to mismanagement, but the numbers stayed roughly the same, producing the meat, leather, and grease byproducts needed across the capital city. I'm sorry, what the fuck is a blood oxen? Probably a breed of cow slash ox. <clears throat> we may see the head of one, but... We aren't sure if he's a blood ox on a what so far. Yeah. And it may not be an ox. Only when the Rosebury processing treatment was discovered did the whaling trade begin to rise in prominence. Driven by the many new uses for the much more volatile refined whale oil, including military and security uses. Okay, so that's what set off a sort of industrial revolution in this world. Or more a technical revolution since industry was already up and going. Early into Empress Jessamine uh, Caldwin's brief reign, the well-known inventor and natural philosopher Anton Sokolov introduced a series of devices that would uh, begin to see development across Dunwall, re uh, directed by the royal spymaster Hiram Burroughs. With this lucrative turn of events, the number of slaughterhouses quadrupled and the demand for fresh whales increased proportionately. Many districts immediately adjacent to what was suddenly known as Slaughterhouse Row began to change as families moved away to avoid the industrial fumes and Ofol, runoff Run produced by the, uh, the uh, by the producing uh, uh, processing plants, 
ground grew overnight, forcing the city watch to redouble its efforts against Godonwall's gangs. Okay. So that is where all of this insanity with Sokolov's significance <laughs> comes from. After this morning, we're taking away time cards on site. Nobody gets in or out without those things. Time to send a message. Okay. It's so, on the other side of the fucking wall. Yeah, and we have a map here. But, yeah, I don't really see what their idea is here, Bay. <coughs> they're taking people's time cards, with which they can't go to work, and they're already not going to work. So now you're ensuring because that the, the few people that are coming don't work either. Meaning this we is... just aided the strike. Bunch of dumbasses. This is you? essentially a self-serving sabotage. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they're trying to you know, drive up the prices or something. Hmm. Yeah, I, I had a thought that maybe that code would be shown under void vision, but it didn't light up or anything. Let's double check well, again. whatever, go back to the goons and just get the time card so you can get the fuck in. Let's see. Rune under the slaughterhouse. Loot the watch officer's safe. Find the combination written on the wall. Oh, you can tag and untag and... Okay, someone had a buzzer there for a moment. Let's tag that. Yeah, it it was already there. tagged. Hmm. Right, they want you to turn off the, the spark light. Oh, I... 926. Wait, what? Wasn't there something in front of this before? Or did did I destroy whatever was hiding that by throwing this idiot at it? Or was you, I just being I... blind? Yes. Probably all yes. Let's just go with yes and go with 926. <laughs> How did it pass me by? Is the wall of light down? Yes. You're free to go. Mm -hmm. Make your way out of this place. Here's the card, sir. I hope you burn this place to the ground. You see a woman named Abigail Ames, she'll know what to do. She's a smart cookie. Yeah, she's probably their leader then. And yeah, we probably could have sent them up. We probably could have told them that the light, you know, the, it was down when it wasn't. Probably getting them killed and getting ourselves even more chaos in this place. I mean, it could be worse. You could have Goomba stumped everyone and then told them to fuck off and get killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is going to be an in joke of sorts. So then again, anyone, basically anyone alive and on the internet these days knows what a Goomba stomp is. Yeah. I hope. I'm still confused as to why the hell that I got freaking launched. Some sleep darts. Oh, small scale explosive refinements. That sounds. Oh, and a time card. So we could have ignored that guy. But... We almost forgot the ingot. Yeah, which refunded most of what we yeah, well spent to get that. Okay. And just to ensure that they don't turn that thing back on. Try not to be near the explosion. You were saying? I was saying, try not to be near the explosion so that when the guards hear it, they don't run towards you. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he didn't make the explode, The arc mine. My experiments continue with what I've been calling the arc mine. Initially, I began uh, to work uh, out of idle curiosity. Working from a nap in the middle of the afternoon uh, during the month of clans. <clears throat> I wondered whether it might be possible to separate a flat disc filled with refined whale oil from an array you know, of very short striking rods until such time as sufficient weight be applied on the upper side of the device. After turning uh, to pragmatic considerations, I imagined the arc mine might be used to incinerate some unfortunate member uh, of enemy forces approaching, say, a military encampment. After early tests on livestock proved if successful, I requested a live human subject already scheduled for execution for crimes that were, I assure you, most dire. Burroughs was more than happy to comply, assuming he could witness the demonstration. He brought a prisoner from Coldridge, someone named Vaughn. 
I relieve and we turned him loose in the test area blindfolded stumbling about until triggering the device. Bruce was most pleased not only because of arc mi there's probably a D missing there because of yeah. the arc mine's effectiveness as a lethal deterrent but also because of its potential uh, psychological impacts on enemy forces. Further, it left no gore or other mess, and Burwes was is a strong supporter of anything clean and tidy, because he's a control freak. Yeah. Lovely and terrifying, with nothing left to wipe up. Those were his, his exact words. I've le left notes to myself, assuming I pick up the project again, because there may be a way to produce a version of the Ark Mine that is entirely harmless, simply rendering the subject unconscious. Much more testing is required. Let's this is that. a reminder. And let's not go in there because we know of a sneak sneak your way through, so, well, uh, the war funnel. I swear, they used to go in to too many things here. Yeah, I, I think it could be similarly described to uh, people discovering oil and coal. Like, they, it, the moment they understood that it was a useful and uh, plentiful resource, they started to use it for whatever they could. And yeah. now we're starting to run low on all of that. Yeah, at least, at least when they found oil in ground, they could have stopped on the whales. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Okay. And you could have helped me earlier instead of just being a tour guide. <laughs> Here. Hey, where's the fun in that? Is that a Shading. shark? Is that a, sturgeon? is that a shark? Yeah. It looks like a hyper tuna sturgeon and a shark to me. Uh, well, you're gonna need a long shower after tonight, after this job. Yeah. Is he calling you a liar? That's what it sounds like. Also, why does that guy have a gun? That's why. You have a drill, dipshit. You gotta be careful with that. Breaks over, looks like. When's this day gonna end? And yeah, it's still alive. Slowly bleeding out, but still very much alive. You had to put it out of its misery. Yeah, if that's even possible. Okay. Yeah, no... No shower in the world is going to get all of that out. So it's lucky that we're dressed up in like... Half a meter of leather, hopefully. Okay. was a bit of a gamble. Void gaze, where... No. There's <laughs> a room behind so you! Yeah. The see. bone charm... There's two born charms... Bone charms there. There's off... There's the guy's office. And there's we the room. The room though. We want a room for... That would be enough to give us a upgrade. Yeah, there's also one there. Just need to get to whichever one is easiest to get. Let's see. You are here. <laughs> so, Instead. who do you think would be the worst person to work for? Lex Luthor or the Joker? You know that with the Joker, you could get executed at basically any second. With Lex Luthor, you're likely to survive longer. But you'd probably get killed when by next yeah, in his experiment sooner or later, and we do not want to mess with that guy. Yeah, the Joker is way too unpredictable. At least it looks new for you, I guess. Uh, be of your best behavior is enough. Yeah, the Joker is just is going to kill you the moment he gets bored, and he gets bored easily. Luther is still likely to kill you, but at least have a good reason for it. Quote unquote, good reason. Yeah, though. I think I know more about the Joker than Lex Luthor. But from what I see of Lex Luthor, he doesn't kill too randomly. 
Like he understands he needs his workforce at least. At least that's what I hope. There it is. Doubt. Doubt's been escaping leg day. Just blank. That's Fleet Fighter. How Let's the see. fuck do you... Okay. How the fuck do you leave a bone charm there? You throw it up? Let's take these two. It could be that someone was getting... going to get uh, a cavity search or something. So they threw and... it up there in the showers? Yeah. And so is this thing going your way, Lord? Watch your men, you collect your bonuses at sundown in my offices. Well done, my boys. The rest of you piss off. <laughs> at least it's for being honest. Okay. Let's see. Big guy that way. That's the entrance. Let's see. Meat packing and While shipping. Laborers, my generous offer stands. Half pay a dozen lashes. Actually, I generous. will take a dozen. Actually, I will take extra pay and maybe have the lashes, sir. Wait, what? Now the guy's like. To anybody that's striking, I will give you- This is my generous offer. Half pay and lashes. And I'm like, you know what? Give me extra pay and about half the lashes and we're cool. Okay, immediately going up and down up because information is power. We haven't used that slide a lot. I don't think you've ever- I th I don't think I've ever seen you use a slide. I'm sure it's well now. Clicking it wrong again there. And again, <laughs> just, let me just put that thingy right in the corner there. Okay. Now, we have... Yeah, that familiar green is a lot easier on the eyes. There we go. That looks like... Yeah, that's, that's probably that Melissa. Me Amelia. Yeah. I'm terrible with names. <laughs> if I were to tell you my real name, you'd probably forget it within the hour. Probably. I may or may not forget it myself, but if, the more I hear it, the easier I have time to remember. I very much doubt that I'll... we do not want to be there when the uh, daddy bone sauce comes near. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I doubt that those lamps can support our weight. How about the pipes? Yeah. Oh, there's two up there. And that's the map we saw earlier. Okay. Uh, just gotta keep out of their line of sight. Killing floor. Oh, and a sort of dead end for us here. Hmm. I can hear the bone charm. It's in his office. Okay. We're headed there anyways. Can we choke these guys out, or would I just get torn in two from even trying? Save. Yeah. No, stay before doing that. Oh, it's so we'd, we'd lose oh, quite right. a bit of progress if uh, I'd mess this up. Okay, so we can choke them. Okay. Uh, something exploded. But that was probably his uh, oil tanks. Okay, you just go nap in here. Why is the one saying do not use? Don't ask. I'm pretty a bitch or 
Excerpt from a company pamphlet. That's a big ass pamphlet if it's <laughs> bound in a freaking book. First a reminder, all equipment within the Rothwald slaughterhouse is the sole property of Mr. Uh, Bundry uh, Rothwald himself, leased to an individual worker on a per shift basis. A butcher's saw is not to be equipped and used without proper training and authorization. Misuse of the equipment could result in disfigurement or death. Okay, knock something over over he here. Just empty cup of a dessert I had. The saw itself is composed of three systems, power supply, cutting blade, and chip ejector. Uh, the, recipro the reciprocating blade is cast of hardened steel and, when properly maintained, provides severe sharpness. It is crafted to slice flesh, but will cut bones with ease. The mechanism for powering the blade is a harness supporting uh, custom-sized tanks of whale oil uh, for a whale oil, capable of driving the saw for an entire shift before refueling is required. Care must be taken not to strike, heat, or electrify those tanks. Uh, the ejector is a new modification, casting out a stream of flat uh, braid, blade fragments. Since the girth of the whale often exceeds a butcher's reach, the ejector allows for blasting away unwanted offal or breaking down dense bone at a distance. So I, flat blade? I, I guess the okay. idea is that the blade ejects a bit further. Or if the blade is damaged, you can just remove that blade and replace it with another one. It sounds more like just outright blasting a blade, you know, an entire saw out or something. Mm. It's mm, a yeah. small cannon. Mm. Yeah, we we do not want to knock these guys out went near someone because they are pretty loud. <laughs> he just slides down. Can we interact with this thing? Salvage. Okay. Yoink. Rather than getting that dug into our rip cage. Money. More money. All the Someone's money. Someone's mic is causing some static. One, two, three. One, two, three. It was uh, beeping while you were talking there. Okay, how about now? Not anymore. It, it seems uh, random. I don't know why it does that. Now, now, I, that, I that, was, that was even louder. <laughs> that is not helping whatever you're doing there. I'm rubbing the microphone. You might want to turn it off before that. <laughs> Okay, but I still have no idea what causes a beeping noise. Yeah, it could it's be electrical happy. wiring that is near it or something. Probably. This thing has like three wires. There's one for the headphones, one for the microphone, and a USB cable. No one ever knows. You don't think Bundry knows she'd be a martyr? But what? Like the Empress. She's dead, but they put her face on posters forever. They still care about her. So what are you gonna do? I'm not doing nothing, but Mr. Rothwild has her in his office right now. He'll work things out. I hope you're right, but if she mouths off to me, she's whale meat. Yeah, I can guess where some ex-employees went if they're willing to stick people into their freaking cannery. Shoot him and wait, 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 wait! No, shoot him with the ah! I was gonna say shoot him with a knockout dart and see if he falls. Okay, see you. You are going footsteps, so now he's alerted. Hmm. That looks like an entrance. Okay, let's ignore him. Now. Probably coming down to whatever entrance there is. In the meantime, yeah, we're going to skip all of that. How long? How much does he know by now? Ramsey? 
No, this is about the workers. This is about fair pay and safe conditions. Don't bother. You're not the first of his moles I've caught. What happened, Abigail? I trusted you. Extra elixir rations, bags of coin as bonuses. But you're about to see that my generosity is counterbalanced by a very inhumane side. Mr. Rothwild, Bundry. Don't call me that. That privilege is lost to you. You don't know, Ramsay. When he comes for me, he'll kill you. He'll gut you like the street filth you are, and feed you to the rats. Ah, uh, now it comes out. No one is coming. I have broken your strike, and my butchers are the finest fighters in Dunwall. Miss Ames, you're about to find me. This conversation is going to last a long, long time. You're going to... Is anyone there? Well, Dowd, what do you want with me? I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. But... Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely. And then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught. And that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. The important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. Was she hiding that? Pockets. That's not ask. The Empress should have hired you to protect her. We'd be living in a different world now. Hmm. Don't think she'd want an assassin as a protector. Let's see. Injury report code. Five injuries have been reported over the span of one week, resulting in two fatalities. That's bad numbers for anywhere. Hmm. I was gonna say something like, um, we have zero days since last fatality. <laughs> Bone charm there. Okay, yeah, a bit of industrial espionage. Not really sure if we'll get non lethal options with Dowd, since, well, he's an assassin. Let's see. Excerpt from an investigator's report Young Waswald was never uh, convicted for any of the killings. In all cases, the court had ruled that he had acted in self defense or in defense of his property. Not that his property was substantial. The Rothwalds were not a family of means and depended heavily on the charity of the Abbey of the Everyman. The senior Rothwald went down with the whaling ship Huntress when Bundry was only 10 years old. His mother, Ruth, was lost the following year to an industrial accident in the bottle making factory where she worked. Okay, uh, I can only assume that had to do with the melting uh, glass then. Mm -hmm. um, Roswald so, yeah. became the sole guardian for his younger brother and managed to support them both by hanging around the harbor doing odd jobs for whalers who had known his father or others on the Huntress. By then, Bundry Watrald was already familiar with the club and the knife and was no stranger to odd occurrences. Things went from bad to worse for Roswald then, when on his 13th birthday his younger brother was taken by the overseers. Allegedly, the boy failed the successive trials and did not return home. Rothwell lacked the funds to pay an investigator, and no subsequent hint of his brother's fate has ever been learned. And yeah, we already know what happens to the, the children who fail the trials. They get killed. 
<laughs> because yeah, it's a freaking correct. cult. This latest tragedy to befall Bondry Roswell instilled in him a view that the world itself was malevolent and hungry for life, especially innocent life. After a time of black mourning, he approached the whaling ship Cutter and began learning the trade of the, from the crew. Roswell took to whaling with great success. At sea, he hunted the beast with a single-minded purpose and would take extraordinary risks in locating and harpooning his prey. Among the crew, those men who he could not beat senseless, he outwitted. In short order, he petitioned the maritime barrister Arnold Timsch to grant young Roswell a whaling license, paying the significant fees himself rather than relying on a sponsor for the funds. The rapid descent of Bun uh, the <coughs> Bundry Roswell had begun. Okay, there's an R missing there. Hmm. Okay, a man of capability, but an asshole all the same. Roswell, the interrogation chair is set up in the meat locker and fully powered. We ha have run some tests. Uh, we, ha we have run some test runs on a few of the mo most problematic laborers. They spill over their secrets very quickly. They seem to die easily after about four treatments. She is ready for you whenever you need her. Granville, butcher foreman. Okay. Oh, hey, find you a way, way to, to interrogate him. Yeah. Chip manifest. Captain Withers. Whitehurst. All of the cargo destined for Samara Tivia has been approved. Please delay loading until uh, just before departure. There's a special delivery that was to be prepared by Foreman Ames, but she has been detained at the moment, so that particular shipment is yeah, suspended for now. If the special package has not been prepared by sundown, you may depart on schedule and other arrangements will be made. Remember, only your approved list of crewmen are allowed to handle this delicate cargo. Marine Clerk Willow, Willamina Bowards. Has is some smiling going on. Likely. And it can, could be anything. Bids for light cargo is going to be shipped. Hmm. Empty on the papers, but not in reality, probably. Oh, there's the ship. There's a Lila. Okay. <laughs> that was a complete accident. Okay, hey, so... look, we found the Lila. <laughs> So, uh, does that mean when we blow up this place, he's gonna die? Because we kind of knocked him out and left him in the office. Yeah, more likely, but at least... There's the key. Let's at least see if we can stick him in his own interrogation chair. Uh, it said something about it being in the butcher's room or something like that. Yeah, and I... Try not to give the feeling this guy. Yeah, part of me gets the feeling that it's going to happen anyways. Holy shit, you didn't do but stomp him. <laughs> well done, Helian. Well done. He was about to spot me, though. Let's see. Well, you spawned behind him, so what do you expect? Yeah. Okay, now where is that? Alright. Oh, well this up is door, getting please. really annoying. I'm next to... Huh? In case you're asking what the hell that sound is, I am next to an Air Force base. There's a helicopter, it's a Huey. Okay, don't think we've been hearing that. No, is that right now a helicopter went by? Okay, we didn't hear that then. Also, you might not want to blow up the place until you've gotten everything from it. Yeah, we're just unlocking a few of them. Let's see. Let's I spotted a makeshift interrogation room in the meat locker. It's in the meat locker. It might be useful to you, considering our mission here. Okay. Oh, right over there. Okay, yeah. How are you sneaking around better than I am? And again, she's cheating with invisibility or whatever. She teleports. Yeah. Okay, we're going to carry that jackass over this way. He's likely to spot us if we do so. Hey, wait a minute. Once more, confusing the interactive. There's team. a meat locker. Lab journal? Vivisection of the third life specimen is almost complete. Careful perforation of the lower diaphragm 
has brought me closer to observing the secretion of the oil, but the process retains its mystery. N Pardon? This creature has weakened considerably since its capture and its output is quite low. I've attached electrical simulators to the beast. A mild current increases output by 20% to the considerate complaint of the whale, I might add. Increasing the voltage will likely kill the creature, so further exploration will have to wait on a stronger specimen. For now, the music continues. Okay, there, you can probably kill the whale. Probably wait, multiple. Have... Dude, but also find out the turn to make your way in Stay alive and produce more oil. Makeshift interrogation share. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees. But yeah. Okay, did, I, I thought it was a big ass recorder. Let's see. I, the undersigned, the, I, the undersigned agree to renounce any association with any employee union to abstain from discussing such matters at any time. And to promptly report to any co-workers that encourage union views. I agree all grievances will be taken out with Bundry Roswell and his staff in an open and fair manner. Gerald Harper, Richard Maser, J.A. Manderley, Sylvia Proctor, Lawrence Spinner, Maddie Cr Cranston. Yeah. Completely under duress. Okay. Remember, you only got three shocks before the fourth one kills the guy. Yeah, that was with the uh, guy in the cat, the golden cat, I think, as well. A bit of movement up there. Good. Good. They see he, you. Almost. He, well, he saw, but he didn't get fully alerted. Now we just run back, grab the asshole, put his own in his own chair, and we'll see what we can squeeze out of him. Because Ames may be friendly enough, or seem friendly enough. I'm afraid Mr. Rothwell's no longer with us. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well Maybe you were too rough on him. Or he had a bad heart. I'm very tempted. <laughs> well, so much for the interrogation. I could just choke her out and leave her in the factory to die. <laughs> I just love how, okay, we're getting ready for the interrogation. Oh, I'm sorry, he's dead. What? Oh, guess yeah, he had like a weak card or something, and he has like a blade sticking out of his neck. It's like, really, a weak card. Okay, so I'm there. We have nothing else there to go after. Turn of War valves. Oh yeah, the, the recipe. Hmm. Right, we need. Right, we need to kill the whale to get the recipe to get to the fucking the bone rune. I think I don't fucking remember. It's probably a rune that we're getting from it. Maybe a power, and we forgot to find the charm up there. It's likely that it'll just light up like everything else with this. So let's hope on that. And still plenty of time. If I meet you again, I'm choking you the hell out. <laughs> there it is. Appointment required. Not for us. Is this going to give us anything? Ames negotiations. Mr. Roswald, my research on Abigail Ames has turned up nothing. She has no close kin that we can leverage. It looks like the plague took her sister and mother. My father died on the whaling ship of your, uh, pre of your predecessor about ten years ago. As far as blackmail goes, she has got no secrets I could uncover. Devout as an overseer, it seems not surprising since she rejected every blackmail offer to come her way. I don't think she's making a power play. She seems to legitimately have the best interest of the laborers in mind. And yeah, she very quickly turned out to not be. Then again, she might or... be and a spy as well. I don't know. Hmm. At this point, you want to just either way. Yeah. 
As I interview the workers, it seems she really has the means for all. They'll do any, whatever she says and their belief in her is absolute. If something happens to her, as in like an accident or something, I expect they'll riot. I'll keep searching for an angle on her, but in the meantime, I advise leaving her intact. It might be worth even considering some of her reforms. I know that doesn't suit you, but at least it would buy some time and get the workers back in here. The butchers lack the final skills to keep this place operational. Your servant, G. I didn't know Fuck that like G was in here. There's a black the fuck. Okay, maybe that one has the code. A sad song the old behemoth sings. It looks right at me when I sit here to have my nightcap. Yeah, look at me. I'm a fly next to you, but I'm your master, ain't I? Kill a hundred of your kind, and I'll kill a thousand more before I'm done. Drain you and feed you to my butchers. The mournful cries of the whales don't touch that lot. No, sir. They don't have hearts, I think. But by the outsider, I think I still have a small one. Shriveled and blackened as it may be. Yes, sing me a lullaby while I have another drink. It's the code yes. written of the goddamn walls. It's probably in a note somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's a whale, by alive. the way. And I don't think our whales have teeth like that. Uh, or look like sharks. Yeah, like, I don't remember the stairways with no rows of bone fucking teeth, but they didn't look like that. Big yeah. Okay, don't blow up the wrong whale pipe just yet. Just let's first try to find the code and probably get the eye of the whale. Yeah. Right. I'm guessing we'll probably find oh. that among the debris of one already somewhere. Uh, try looking at the paintings that worked once. Actually, I grab something. There is one way that has teeth like that. Just not that, that cheap, but that nastiness. And of course, the scientist named it Leviathan. Mm -hmm. An ancestor to sperm whale. Wait, look at the corner. Look at the corner. No, no, no. Look back. Look back. Look at the corner. Which corner? Yeah, the corner of the painting. Yeah, it's yeah. just. Covered. God that, damn it! That's, that's, suppo that's, that's supposed to be a railing. No, I thought a chunk of it was missing. Yes, yeah, same here. From wait, no. Oh fuck me! Roswell probably had the code to his own safe. Yeah. So I mean, and again, we could we there. could try to brute force it. There's only so many again, fucking codes. Yeah, but we'd still be at this for quite a bit of time then. You want me to look up the code? I very much doubt that this is going to make it easy. Uh, you can look it up, but don't uh, spill it just yet. I'll keep looking. Typically, there's been like usually two or three ways to get something. How did he see me from that far away? Because you're a shit spy. Okay, and that is supposed to kill it instantly? Okay, that might be how we get an eye. Wait, hold on. Uh, uh, Why is it still alive? Because uh, it keeps uh, producing the, wi the oil like that. Uh, I mean, like, that thing should be dead by its own weight. Dishonored, um... Save combinations. Found it. Okay, don't sh don't spill it just yet. Part of me wants to blow this guy. Actually, fuck it. Oh come on, that didn't even kill him. Yep. Oh hello. Mysterious object. Anton, this thing was found in the belly of catch number one eight four when we were processing it. I've seen plenty of weird things in that whale's gut, but never one of these. Yes. I must have consumed it in the deep, and I think it's been in there quite a while. 
Now don't ask me how I can tell. If you have any ideas on what this may be, please inform me. One of these was recovered back in the month of wind, but I haven't seen it, or the man that found it since then. BR. So that's probably where the misplaced rune was from. Seriously, why did, how did that guy not die from an explosive going off on his back? We found the fucking card already. Hmm? It's the injury report card. It's the injury report, ca report card. Okay. In Rockwell's office. Uh, that was five two five three two or no five one three then. Okay. Five one two five injuries one week yeah. two fatalities. Okay, that that was smartly hidden. I've set up this device to stimulate the whale's nerve system, uh, nervous system, with the intention that doing so would pr will prolong all secretions and squeeze out more of the precious fluid from each catch. Unfortunately, this device can lead to the instant death of the beast if too much power is used. Filling both tanks and activating the device extinguishes all life function in an instant. A painless and quick experience for the whale, but at the loss of the additional revenue that can be ge uh, generated by sustaining it as long as possible. Anthem Sokolov. So yeah, they have to be alive to, uh, to produce uh, the oil. Yeah, they have to save the oil by killing it, but they take more oil while keeping it alive, so... This is animal cruelty! Pretty sure you it is. Have you now figured that out? No, I've been figuring it out for a long time now. Just, I didn't know they were going this far. I hope they kill them at sea yet. But no, no. They can step further. It must be wasting a ton of oil just by keeping that thing spinning like that. Where's the other one gone? I'm pretty sure there was one over there. Did he, did he fall down the roster or something? I would laugh if he just fell out of the map. What do I need to be carrying a key? Let's go after this guy first. Since, well, he has the big ass blade. My you. Okay, the other was far enough away. Okay, did he? Hmm. I'm guessing he must have just walked around without me noticing earlier whilst I was hidden. Why is that bubbling sound? It's blubber getting boiled, I think. Yeah, I think they're not preparing it to become oil. Okay. Now, let's go grab our... What's, what's this? Employees working during the strike will be rewarded salary 1.5 pounds per day. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh... The pride, show pride in your work yeah. and support your employer in these times. Loyalty, Loyalty is prized above, above all else. Do not interact with Anton Sokolov when he's on the premises. Production records set in the for, uh, in the fourth of rain, but we can do even better. No workers must register for elixir rations at the management office. Uh, this thing is be this, this is uh, uh, a bit relevant today since there's a lot of striking going around. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, where do we plug the whale? Let's see. Da, da, da. I'm not sure if we've read this before on the main campaign. Let's see. In earlier years, the methods used to reclaim whale oil from blubber were both inefficient and dangerous. The original technique required the raw blubber to be sealed in pressurized cookers, uh, which forced the volatile fluid out of the tissues and into collection tanks. The refined oil was then cooled rapidly while the pressure was reduced, and if the synchronization of these processes was not perfect, it was possible for the oil to release all of its energy in a devastating explosion. This is believed to be the cause of the historic Fullerton Whale House explosion that cost over 150 lives. 
Modern industrial Modern. trends have reduced the dangers of collection which, while increasing the output from each creature. Grace Refinery made the first steps in live collection, aided by research from the Academy of Natural Philosophy. In the wake of the plague, Graves has suspended operation, and this process is now applied at the Roswell Slaughterhouse. No longer is the whale blubber removed and harvested, but instead the very mechanism that creates the oil inside the whale is stimulated, and the resulting oil is drained away and stored. This results in a more stable uh, raw oil that is easier to refine, with more tanks harvested from a single whale. Luckily enough, I think we still disturbed. Yeah. So what? Do we just jam them into the receptacle? Yep. Yeah. That's Two right. are enough to kill it instantly. And if there are any other whales around here still alive, then uh, yeah, then those will die in the explosion that is coming. Because yeah, fuck this place and burn it all down. <laughs> It's for you, it's the chair. Have a nice life. Have a nice uh, death. Look, yeah. just good luck in the afterlife. Yeah. No, you're Typically, right. the chair is seen, seen as cruel, but in this case, it is better than what they were doing with this already. Can, can we get one of your eyes, or did they blow? Uh, well, they both blew out. I think they both blew out, or look down, look down. Actually, try to look down. Okay, so either we fucked this one up, or we have no idea how to get eyes from a whale. Wait, did this mean to think we alive? Hey, we did get everything else, right? Yeah, and it is just one thing. You did get the stuff from the safe, right? Not yet. We still have one more valve over there. And most of the crew is knocked out, so we can just run over. And yeah, this place is starting to shake. And I can see why people like this DLC, because even though this one mission is taking a lot longer than the, in the main game, there's also a lot more to do. As long as this place is still standing. Yep. Far. No, five, one, two. Light as a shadow. To take less damage from falls. Uh, might as well, since we have an extra <laughs> slot open. Okay, then I think we have learn what's wild secret, turn on full, full four valves. And the recipe where we are have the ingre I don't where are the ingredients for Granny's fucking recipe? The killing floor? Probably. We haven't really been too much past here. And I'm guessing the butchers don't really care too much about the place blowing up. Oh. You think they, they the... noticed? Hmm. Okay, someone up there noticed us. Oh, and someone Ooh. down there. Is that just going to repeatedly explode? You know what? Let them explode. Let's die. just fuck. Let's just find whatever the fuck we're supposed to find. Can you yeah, we can't find, find it. Salted potatoes, mushroom breads. Mushroom breads act, sound, actually sounds a bit decent, depending on well, what mushrooms. Wait, it's probably near the remains of the whale. Yeah. Okay, where the fuck did you come from? Ah, uh, he came through the door. Now, how much of these have we left? Oh, we have uh, nine. But... Fuck you then. And fuck you. <laughs> and you as well. Okay, that. that you missed. Like... Oh he just god. Got his... I think he just <laughs> cut his own leg. <laughs> uh, I don't think I missed, I think I hit him in the visor. So good on them for <laughs> that actually mattering. Because often enough you shoot an enemy in the head, in, well, in the helmet, and it's 
does the same as if you shot them through, through the skull. But you made him, you didn't shoot Okay, uh, the... Explosion solution. Look how we grab these from some sleeping overseers next to real cargoes that needs carving, try planting these deep in it first. They ought to tenderize things real nice. Even if they don't, it'll be fun. <laughs> Manage to don't blow yourself up, though. What? God, did they just tie up the grenade pins and just... Uh, where would... Where would the eye be? If it even is anywhere. Maybe, maybe uh, we missed it outside somewhere. Maybe, I don't know, but the place is exploding. Yeah. Uh, let's keep looking a bit more, since there's still an area here. And even then, we'd probably still have to carry all of that stuff back. Since we don't have quiet footsteps yet, it's better to just jump in. Where is that thing? I can loot it from the coin. He already Maybe looted it. Probably. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, rail clipper section already seen that, I think. <laughs> okay, that was a bit jumpy. Is there nowhere where these freaking eyes are? Nobody has the idea to even try and preserve one as a Decoration or whatever. Uh, fuck it, I'm gonna look up DI thingy. Hang on. Wow. Well, okay, more thing. Careful where you drop that thing. Okay, for my, I thought he fell on it. These I'm not sure I should have grabbed that bread. These are into the type of sharks. They look like a piece of sharks and. Uh, or whatever happened to the Were they really grilling this stuff here? We're going to grill it. Hmm. Okay, hang on. You need to find a, we a dead weeper and the whale's left eye. I'm not sure we've seen any weepers. Uh, Let's I'm see. Guessing we go to the dog right on. Hmm? Go to the dog right at the main entrance under the stairs is a weeper's corpse. Carry this back to the room where dog uh, finds a node, or there's a weeper close that can be found in the alley located immediately before the first wall of light. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we'd have to go back all the way. So, too bad. Now we get to fuck out. So first, we get Abigail, the squeal. Otherwise, we'll make her squeal. Yeah, come on. I'm, I might get rid of it. I look into if I can make it unselectable or something. Otherwise, I'll throw it out. If you're dead, I sort of get. Okay, you're alive. Time is short. Now, about the Delilah. You're sailing in murky waters, assassin. Now. They say that ship was sold to Rothwild cheap by one of his business partners, a barrister, Arnold Tinch. They'd planned to sell a portion of the whale oil on the black market instead of giving it to the Lord Regent. Treason. Would that be why you heard? My reasons are my own. The black market doesn't concern me. Interesting. Because that's only half the story. Arnold Tinch sold that ship to Rothwild because he was afraid of its nemesis. Timps fell in love with a painter named Delilah. It was a scandal of the season. That shrunken old lecher acting like a giddy schoolboy over a meal. A former serving girl from Dunwall Tower. Let me guess. He didn't end well. He never does. But there's a mystery to this one. Something happened that frightened him very much. He dropped her overnight and sold the ship for a quarter of what it's worth. And Barrister Timps is not a man who scares easy. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask him yourself. But I very much doubt he'd tell you. I guess we're done here. I'll meet you outside. She doesn't seem to have any reaction to just suddenly someone appearing. But uh, yeah, let's get the hell out. 
Yeah, let's go to the whale gut thing. Uh, you might want to move more than just... Okay, up to you. You know what? Fuck it. She killed Maybe the whale's eye is on people. the, uh... Maybe the whale's eye is by the gut. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, bye-bye. Try turning on dark vision because I can't see shit. Yep. And okay, let's leave. Actually, if we... If it, the mission doesn't end here, we could still try and get the recipe done. Okay. Uh... Okay, under the main entrance you said, and then the eye next to the, the whale's life. corpse. The what's in the slaughterhouse. Oh. Oops. Not sure we want to go back in. Let's just leave. Oh, hello. Alrighty, we gotta screw up the side quest. For a place that seems sort of exploded, it's still pretty intact. Not that I like that it, it probably is going to explode the cutscene. Let's just leave. Yeah, and it probably looks horrible on the inside. Also, oh, you're being shot at again. Oh, Billy has... Oh, there's a freaking overseer nearby. And that's blocked. So we have to go back towards the people who were shooting at us. Oh. Nothing to tell? No suicide meetings. You're going to stay in chapters. What's going on? Yeah, no. I think they just fragged themselves. That counts as a suicide, right? Yeah. Well, that well, also... <laughs> that I forgot about that damn stupid thing. Oh, well. That, that, then at least we can save ourselves a few bolts. <laughs> also, can we just go back in? Yes, we can. Okay, whatever. Just grab the eye from the whale. It's in the left eye. Okay, where? In the... uh, Next to the main entrance or something? Because this is okay, the main entrance. Okay. okay, hang on. Okay, go. Okay, hang on. Pause the game for a second. Shit's exploding too much. Okay. To get the Weeper's corpse, you need to go to... You, there are two options. You can go to the dock to the right of the... of... where you started the level. Under the stairs is a Weeper's corpse. Carry that to the room where, Do where Dowd finds the original note for the, uh... for the recipe. Or you can find a Weeper corpse in the alley immediately before the first wall of light. Okay, where Billy Lurk was, I think, just now. Okay. Does it say and what the reward is? The whales. Okay, hang on. Uh, what the fuck? The shrine where Granny's recipe can be found. Okay, hang on. E okay. This whole thing is like. There's two notes in Knife of Dunwall, which are side objectives. That net you a tarot card. Wait, what the? F okay, the world. Okay. And what does it net you? It it doesn't say, but I'm using my phone to read it, so it maybe it nets you something else. Okay, and the eye was left of the main entrance. Yeah, left eye, left eye, left eye. Yeah, the eye was the left eye. Okay, oh, by the main entrance or the one has strung up? The one that's strung up. Okay, because it's kind of gone. That's the right eye. Yeah. Also kind of gone. 
shit. Yeah, we blew them up. We, we, we're, might we're, have, we, we might have killed our option to get it, but we, we spent enough time on that now. <laughs> Let's just get out. Okay, next time try, we try the Weeper's Corp first and then get the eye. And right now we probably should leave the place of currently exploding. Yeah. yeah okay, but, but at least uh, anyone watching will know where they can find that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps. And that guy in the boat there is gone, so maybe that was a side objective as well? I don't remember. I th th who knows? That who knows? might have been a dead weeper. Who fucking knows? Yeah, they were they were looking pretty alive in their boats. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're mostly here for story, not 100% completion. The regent's never going to forgive this. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Never done. That's dead. Yeah, no, who suddenly appeared? Okay, can I get up on the roof from here? Try blinking. Chatty program. Yeah, I'll look into a way of making that not interactable. in the pipes is well past safe levels. All employees must leave the grounds immediately. Okay, now we get darts. We fail our jump. We knock him out. And then Billy bolts. Check everywhere. Come on, climb. Shout if you see him. Thank you. Let's go. I'm worried they sent for the hounds. Okay, now. Warning. Back pressure in the pipes is well past the safe level. Okay, now we can take our leave. Hopefully without a sudden electrocution. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Hopefully. Oh, I'll find you. Come on. There it is. There we go. Cigars tonight? Yes, of course. Okay. Why are they gonna smoke for their jobs? Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Can I'll put them up here, probably. There we go. Is anything bothering you, Dad? I've seen you kill a man without ruffling his hair. You took out the whole neighborhood. Barrister Timsh lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsh family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Yeah, let's mm. leave. Yeah, let's go. Okay, how badly did we fuck up Slaughterhouse Row? Hey, low chaos! <laughs> Still what? low chaos. Okay, probably and because we, we didn't kill You killed kill four many. people, and there was only low chaos. <laughs> yeah, for for medium chaos, you need to kill about 20% of all the characters. Uh, could be up, pushed up with high chaos actions, but I'm pretty sure blowing this thing up was a high chaos action. Let's see. Put down the captive whale, destroyed the water out the slaughterhouse, freed the detained laborers, and located, looted the watch officers safe. I'm pretty sure that freeing them and not letting them run into a wall of light, uh, that probably lowered the chaos as well. We missed probably. three runes. Okay. No shrines found. Okay. Uh, no. I pressed the wrong button there. I meant to do this.
You gonna do the legal district now or wait for tomorrow slash whenever the fuck you continue the stream? As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timps paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the barrister's niece, and she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. Okay, explosive bolt capacity, arc mine capacity, extra charge, and stun mine capacity. Okay. Uh, stun mines, non lethal trap, okay. Now that must be from one of the uh, blueprints we found, I think. Yeah. Let's get ourselves one rewired tool just to be certain. And let's see, whale oil delivery. Conveniently place whale oil tanks by the first gate on your way into the district. Not sure why that might be useful. And a rune drop off. We're definitely getting that. Might I well think that that's for traps, maybe? Could be, yeah. Uh, I, if I remember something about seeing this played, it's likely that there are a bunch of weepers around since, well, it's. Uh, <clears throat> it, yeah, the, the area is being seized from plague victims, quote unquote. Oh, sleep dart capacity. We're definitely getting that. Then just fill up on these suckers. There we go. Don't forget and the beyond. stun mines. Yeah, place this mine in with save. When triggered, it will deliver an electrical shock. Yeah, that'll help stealth a bit. And with that, we'll start the mission, but we won't start the mission. Achievement unlocked, well connected. Probably for spending a certain amount on the favors and such. Probably. Now though, let's save. And head to the main entrance. Okay, yeah, this took a, quite a lot longer. There's only like seven minutes left on the typical two hours, so I very much doubt we get much more progress. So it's better to end at the start of a next you know, of the next mission. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not too sure yet uh, how it would really compare to the for it was only just the first mission, so we can't really draw a full comparison. But it does seem like it immediately gives a lot more. Uh, pathways to um hmm. what did we it's less linear maybe i could call it and again already the first uh, the main campaign wasn't too linear either except for in its story of course and well it's going to be linear with the story anyways hmm. okay thoughts so from either of you two uh it was Fun thus far, and kind of funny how we managed to fuck up a side quest. <laughs> yeah, but technically we made, well a side quest and a main quest because someone decided to be a bit, well I can't really blame her. He was going to torture her and he already tortured others. She could have at least raided. Yeah, there <laughs> yeah, was a lot of surprises in this one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. For now, though, we'll be continuing with this on Thursday. So, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you, especially, Drakir and Rom. You're most welcome. You're welcome. And, yeah. Until then, have a nice day. And until then. And this time, Is I'm going to hit the right button. <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs>